warm greetings to everyone i on behalf of the iqsc gorga college welcome you all to the orientation program on the process of application to four year undergraduate program in the common admission portal of samarth e cuff suit this is an initiative on the part of the iqsc gorga college to orient the new applicants about the entire process of applying to the common portal so without much ado let us begin with the program as we all know that the national education policy of 2020 has been launched in assam and under this all higher education institutions across the state will be offering a four year undergraduate program and as per the government mandate the universities and the colleges are to follow a uniform timeline and continue the admission process using the samarth e government suit well the samarth is an initiative by the ministry of education started in 2019 under the national mission on education through information and communication technology the samarth suit is basically built as a platform for the universities and the higher education institutions to deploy a digital framework although the application process may seem to be a little complicated at first place but after going through this video it will be a lot more easier for the new applicants this orientation program aims to help the new applicants get an idea about the overall application process through the samarth portal so without much ado let us move forward so the first thing that we need to do is we need to log in to the assamadmission.samarth.ac.in website so once we have entered the url the given page will open since we will be applying for the first time so we will go to the new registration tab on the left side of the screen a few important instructions are given here like the name and other details entered by the applicants need to be the same as in the class 10 board mark sheet so basically you have to fill in the name and the details as per your hslc mark sheet secondly applicants can log in to the portal through their registered email address only and the email address should be an active one as well as it should be functional the main reason for this is that whenever any otp or any information will be communicated it will be communicated through this email another important thing that needs to be kept in mind while applying is that please use your own mobile phone numbers and your own email ids most often it is seen that when students apply for any examination or for any course they use the email id and the phone number of the cyber cafe owner in such circumstances this will make it difficult for you to get important informations about your admission process so kindly use your own registered functional email id and an active mobile phone number so once uh, this page has been opened we need to fill up this registration form first of all we need to write our name since this is a demo so let us write it as sample next we need to select the day month and year of birth as per the hslc or higher secondary mark sheet next we need to fill in the valid email id and we need to again 
reconfirm our email ID and we need to use a valid password of minimum 8 characters and we also need to enter our valid mobile number and then we again need to re-enter our mobile number. Lastly, we need to enter the verification code and we need to click on register. So once we have clicked on register, a new screen will open where it is written that an OTP has been sent to the mobile number entered and that OTP will remain valid only for 15 minutes. So let us now enter the OTP and once again we have to enter the verification code and we have to submit our OTP. So the first step of registration is complete and we have been given our registration number and we are asked to keep a note of the registration number so that we can log in for the admission process. So once uh, we have uh, registered successfully and our registration number has been generated, next what we need to do is we need to keep this registration number in mind and we need to next log in into the portal. As you can see, on the left side of the screen, there is a tab for new registration. But since we have already registered, so we will go to the registered user login. Now, as you can see here, we need to either enter the registration number or the registered email. So let us enter the registered number. And we need to enter the password that we have created in the registration process. And we need to enter the verification code again. And we need to log in. So here you can see it is written welcome sample. In your case it will be written welcome whatever your name you have typed. So our registration number, email ID that we have given and the current date is here. Now, there are three basic steps. One is we have to complete the profile. Second, we need to preview and log the profile. And third, we need to apply in the colleges. So, let us first go to complete your profile. As you can see here, first screen that opens up is where we need to put our personal details. So name we have already entered in the previous section. We need to go to the gender. Date of birth we have already applied. So here our exact age has been shown. Next we have social category. Let us go to general. Next our registration email ID is here. Our phone number is here. We need to select our blood group, although that is not compulsory, but let us go for it. Next, in this case, we need to go for yes. Are you a citizen of India? Yes. Religion, we need to go for religion. And we need to select ID proof. Which ID proof we would like to use? So let us use pen card as our ID proof. In the next section, we need to enter our family details. Mother's name is compulsory while the other options related to mother's information like occupation, office address, qualification, etc. are not compulsory. Although the other details of the mother are not compulsory but I would still request all the applicants to fill in the sections. Next, we need to enter our any one of the emergency contact numbers. 
which may be same as what we have used earlier. Next, we need to go for our combined family income. The next section that says, have you enrolled in university or autonomous college before? So since you have, have just passed your uh, high secondary, so obviously you have not applied for any university or autonomous college. So for this, it will be a no. Next, we have the other category or quota options. There are a few compulsory questions like whether you are a person with benchmark disabilities. Obviously, if you go for it, yes, then you need to give the percentage of your disability, whatever it may be. So, let us go for not applicable for our demo. However, for this extracurricular activities, you can select any one of the above that doesn't require any documents. Or again, next is whether you are a single girl child or not. If yes, you can go for yes. If no, you can go for no. So let us go for not applicable in our case. Next, we need to put in our address. So let us enter our address. We need to select our country, state and the district as well as the PIN code. Lastly, if your permanent address and your correspondence address are same, then you can click here and we can go to save and next. Let us click here. Okay. So as you can see, we have not entered our ID proof number. As a result, we could not save and go to the next page. So once we have entered our valid ID proof number, that is our pen card number, we can now go to save and next and go to OK. So the profile part has been completed. We can review it once if we have any doubt. There is update details option. If you have any doubt about the details and you find that there are any issues with the data, you can go for the update details or you can go to proceed to next. Next, we need to fill in the other details. Like, do you have any illness which requires continuous or emergency medical attention? If we say yes, we need to write the nature of the illness. But for the demo, let us write it as no. Next, do you belong to Moran community of Assam? If it is yes, you can go for yes. If it is no, you can go for no. Next, do you belong to French village of Assam? Again, if it is yes, you can go for yes. If no, you can go for no. Next, we need to select whether we belong to urban, rural, semi-urban or metropolitan areas. Next, are you a son or daughter of present employee of university or college? If yes, you can go for yes. If no, you can go for no. Similarly, if you are a son or daughter of ex-employee of university or college, if it is yes, yes. If you want to go for no, it is a no. Next, do you have a migration certificate? It will be no. Next, do you have transfer certificate from school? No. Candidate having NCC B, C certificate? You can go for yes or no. Next, have you attended any special camp under the National Service Scheme? Again, if you have attended, you go for yes. If you have not, you go for no. Next, language proficiency. Other language one, you can go for SMEs. If you can read, write and speak SMEs, you select all three. Hindi, you can also go for the reading, writing and speaking. And you can go for save next. 
again you can view your details once and if you want to correct anything you can go for update details otherwise you go to proceed to next so next we need to upload certain documents certificates and mark sheets as well as our signature so for that the documents should be in jpg or jpeg format and the size limit is 10 kb to 500 kb so i would request the students to kindly keep the documents ready before applying so let us upload our documents so let us start uploading first of all we need to upload the photograph however it won't upload itself you need to click on start upload so our photograph has been uploaded if you want to change it you can go for delete option next we need to upload our signature again you need to go to start upload next we need to upload the id proof and click on start upload next we need to go for our residential certificate say prc start upload and we can go for preview your profile so entire data will be given here if you want to edit it you can go to the edit option however one thing that needs to be kept in mind is that once we confirm and lock the profile it will remain same we cannot edit it anymore so before you confirm and lock your profile go through the data if you want to edit it you can go to edit option and change your data and finally you need to click here and confirm and lock your profile so profile submitted successfully you can now apply for program screen is now visible suppose any applicant wants to apply for Dibrugo University and under Gorgam College. So we will select University under Dibrugo University and under College we will go for Gorgam College. Then you need to select your program, scheme type as NEP stream and you need to select your program. Suppose the applicant wants to select economics as his or her major subject. So economics as per the Dibrugo University mandate falls under the faculty of social sciences. So you need to select faculty of social sciences. You need to click here and you need to proceed. So once you have Selected the program. Next step is to select the admission screen. One major, one minor. You need to select your subject 1, economics. And your subject 2, say, we will be selecting history. And you need to go for proceed. So as you can see here, the status is not submitted yet. So we need to continue further and then finally submit it. So next, all our information is given here. We need to go to next. Now we need to upload our qualification details of class 10 or equivalent and of class 12 or equivalent. So year of passing, 2021, percentage, say 70%, division, first, name of the institution, for demo, let us write it as sample, university or board, 
Let us write it as secondary education board of Assam. And we need to write our subject combinations. So once we have written the subject combinations, next we need to fill up the qualification details of class 12. Qualification status passed year of passing 2023. Stream, let us say arts. Maximum total marks 500. Maximum total marks obtained say 400. Division first. Board. Some higher Secondary Education Council Roll Number or Registration Number Name of the Institution and Subject Combinations Once we have selected the subject combinations next we need to enter the marks so you can select whatever subject right there in your high secondary and then you can enter the total marks here of the paper and the total marks obtained and you can go for save and next this now opens up a screen where you have all the data you can check the data if you need to update it you can go for update data or you can go for next Again, you can verify your entire data and you can go for next again. Also, you can preview your images and all the photographs. Now here, you need to upload your class 10 mark sheet in a single file. And you need to scan your class 12 mark sheet and upload it. So let us upload it. Go to upload. However, this mark sheets can be in JPEG or PDF format as well. Go to preview. Now here you can check the entire data that you have filled in. You can now submit your application. The next, so the next confirmation tab opens here. Now you need to verify the details that you have entered previously. You need to tick in all the information. You also need to confirm that you have rechecked all the informations. You have read the guidelines. And you need to submit your application. So once you have applied for it, you will be taken to the dashboard where your form number, your program that you have applied, the status application submitted will be there. You can also take a printout of the application if required at all. So as you can see, you can take a print out of it. So according to the Samarth portal, students can give 10 options of UG program in college or university in the application. So if anyone wants to apply for some other options, you can go to apply in college and continue the process. So this is all about this orientation program. We are hopeful that this orientation program have benefited the students in understanding the process of applying to the common portal. We will try to keep you updated about all the developments that take place on the portal if any and for any clarifications kindly contact us through the help desk. Thank you.